Barth can't really say what causes interest in particular photographs. As I understand him, there is not a unifying mood that drives our taste. Some images may remind us of a love, or may horrify us, or inspire a host of feelings in between. Interest doesn't seem like quite the right word for our attraction to certain photographs. So he trades it in for advenience, and sometimes adventure. If a photograph inexplicably interests him, then the picture advenes. Now, before the chapter closes, Barth introduces another term, animation. From what I can piece together, countless photographs wash over him, not eliciting any sort of internal animation. However, did we not just give the name advenes to the property of a photograph that interests him? How do these terms fit together? He seems to be saying that a photograph first animates him and then advenes or take him on an adventure. So it seems like animation is the beginning of interest and adventure is the sustained interest. One wonders if it is possible to be animated by a pho photograph only then to be disappointed in regards to adventure. Or are animation and adventure an intermixed duality of interest? In chapter 8, Barth feels the need to explain his psychological condition thus far into his investigation of photography. He seems to express guilt or unease that what initially started as a phenomenological ontology to get at the essence of the photograph has been reduced to his particular emotions in regards to certain photographs. Perhaps the paradoxical tension of producing a universal account from his own subjectivity is gnawing at him. Barth does not appear to be disavowing his approach just yet, but intimates he may be relying more on affect than formal logic going forward.